What's up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the channel. This is where we talk about mostly sneakers and tech. And for today's episode, I'm actually very excited to do this one. We're going to take a talk about over 10 really dope sneakers that you can get for under 5,000 pesos here in the Philippines or around $100. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because the moment we hit not 10, but 5,000 subscribers, we are giving away a brand new Adidas d Rock. Yes, I know I'm supposed to give a profeer at 10,000, but I'm pretty I'm getting pretty impatient. So let's start incentivizing at 5,000. I'm at 3,000 now. Let's get to 5,000 quickly. Now for this vlog, I didn't want to do a throwaway list wherein I just list like a bunch of really cheap sneakers that anybody and anyone can get from any Adidas, Nike, or whatever store. Instead, what we're going to do is while I show you the shoes, we're going to talk about specific techniques on how you can get rare, unique, collab sneakers or at least very special sneakers that not a lot of people will wear at really good prices here in the Philippines. To do that, there are like a few things that you really need to know, but ultimately it boils down to two things, knowing when to look and knowing where to look. The first batch. The number one rule of finding really good sneakers for really great prices, you have to go beyond the hype. And that means that you have to go beyond the Adidas, go beyond the Nikes, go beyond the Jordans and take a look at other brands that are available that have amazing designs for really good prices. Let's start with this pair. This is the new Converse One Star Pinstripe. It's pretty much an all black shoe, very classic, very nice, and it has this really cool star at both sides that gives it that really nice pop. It has a white stripe at the back, a white tongue and converse with the star and the arrow on uh, on printed on the I don't know like the midsole over here. So overall, it's a pretty clean shoe. It's definitely unique. It's not something that a lot of people you'll see wearing because everybody's pretty much wearing NMDs and Jordans and Air Maxes these days. But if you think about it, it's a pretty you know sick shoe, especially if you think about the price. But this actually just sells for around four thousand five hundred bucks. Pesos. I got it over at Popcorn General Store in Greenbelt 3. So again, you don't have to spend that much to get a really classic, timeless, but still really nice looking shoe. Let's talk Reebok. This is one of my favorite Reebok shoes. This is the this is actually a collaboration uh, with Publish, which is a creative like outlet or a streetwear brand. So what's so nice about this particular pair? Number one, it's crazy comfortable. They use the Ultra Knit. Uh, which is the upper material that's really stretchy, breathable, and uh, you know overall comfortable that Reebok uses. And in terms of design, it's primarily black, making it very versatile. And it has different words on the laces printed and printed along the side of the shoe, again, which just gives it so much more character, so much more texture compared to a lot of shoes out there today. This one sells for, I, I, I can't remember how much exactly I got it, but I'm pretty sure it was under 5,000, around the 4,000 range. Next up, let's talk brand black. Brand Black uh, is, uh, I don't know much about the shoe to be honest, the brand. All I know is that they make really comfortable, really nice looking shoes. And this is a pair that I got for a little over 3,000 pesos over at Titan in Shangri-La. So again, it's not your typical Adidas, Nike, or Jordan, but hey, it looks nice. It feels great. It will make you stand out because it's fairly unique. And again, it won't burn a gaping hole leave a gaping hole in your wallet and in your bank account. Next up, you guys need to learn how to monitor the online stores of the different specialty sneaker stores here in the Philippines because they give out crazy discounts at certain times of the year. Sometimes pretty much random, sometimes you can pretty much get a feel for when they're going to do it. Usually it's either during Christmas, Holy Week, and stuff like that. To give you guys an example, Capital PH is a really nice uh, sneaker store. Uh, they have several branches all over the metro. They did a 20%, I think, store-wide store, a store, store-wide sale on their online store during Holy Week. The Profeer, which sells for 6,000 pesos, you could have gotten it for 4,800 pesos. That's just crazy value for money. In terms of design, in terms of look, in terms of just, I'm a huge fan of the Profeer, by the way. <laughs> in terms of everything, just to get this under 5,000 pesos, fantastic deal. So again, what you have to do is you have to make sure that you're up to date with all the sales, all the discounts, by following the different Instagram accounts of those stores, and by also, of course, following this YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Next up, you have to learn where to shop. And sometimes the best place to shop is not in malls. 
It's actually in far, far places outside of Metro Manila where there are outlet stores for Adidas and Nike. To give you guys an example, Adidas over at, I think it was at the North Expressway somewhere along Bulacan. We dropped by, my wife and I, I wasn't able to take a video. I'll try to do an Adidas outlet store shopping video this weekend. But they were selling the Pharrell tennis shoes in blue for over just 2,500 or 2,600 2, bucks. They were selling the, the Harden Volume 1 lifestyle shoes for around 5,000. And there were a bunch of other shoes with Boost that were selling for less than 5,000 pesos. Those shoes were in season, I think, last year. Just so happens they're not in season this year, and now they're selling for ridiculously good prices. Moving over to Nike, I did a video already of the Nike outlet store over at Paseo in Santa Rosa, Laguna. There we found like a bunch of Air Maxes, Jordans, Suraches, different kinds of models of Nike shoes at really fantastic qualities. Even Metcons were selling for like less than 3,000, all under 5,000 pesos. So again, it pays to shop outside of the popular malls and specialty shops here in Metro Manila. Look it up on Google, Adidas Outlet, Nike Outlet, Manila, Philippines, and then start driving around and start shopping. And last, this is my favorite tip. You need to time your buys when there are end of season or clearance sales by the specialty stores here in the Philippines. Because that's when you get the collab shoes, the unique, the unique shoes, the rare pairs at over 50% off. Sometimes 30, sometimes 50. Just to give you guys an example, one of my favorite shoes that I did a review fairly recently, this is the Color Alpha Bounce collaboration. You have that in primarily black with a shiny uh, violet thingy heel counter here at the back. You would think, I think normally this sells for over 6,500 or something. I got this for a little over 4,000 pesos when Universe over at Rockwell had the clearance sale last year during Christmas. Or I think it was after Christmas. So again, this is a, a really nice shoe, a rare shoe. Not everybody has it. Not all Alpha Bounces look like this because most Alpha Bounces pretty much look like, you know, your everyday Alpha Bounce. So again, this was just 4,000. It was even cheaper than the general release Alpha Bounce, for crying out loud, just because it was a clearance sale, end of season sale. How much are Stan Smiths or shoes like that? Usually they go for what? Like 3,000 something or whatever, 4,000 pesos. This is a collab set from Wings and Horns, a Canadian-based Jap Jap Japan-inspired uh, shoe specialty store. And I got these three pairs for 3,000 something each. I think it was like 3,500 uh, from Commonwealth when they did their end of season sale. You have this really clean looking shoe uh, with the gray upper and the white sole. You have this monochromatic gray shoe, this monochromatic blue, dark blue shoe. The really fantastic value for money, 3,000 something pesos each. Collab shoes, rare shoes. Not everybody will rock these. Most people will do their, I don't know, their Stan Smiths and their Campuses, their Gazelles and whatnots. But this is a collab rare shoe that I got probably cheaper than most general release shoes. Again, just knowing when to buy and where to buy at the right time. I even got this like uh, Adidas Crazy One shoe. I, <laughs> I haven't worn it yet. It even has the laces. This one I got for a little over 3,000 pesos as well. Uh, really sick. I, I'm still trying to find the occasion to wear this futuristic weird looking shoe i'll probably try to wear it over the weekend but you guys get the idea so there you have it there are a lot of really good shoes out there unique shoes rare shoes that you can buy at excellent amazing prices if you know where to look and if you know when to hunt for them and that's actually it for this vlog i want to keep it quick simple and straight to the point i hope you guys enjoy it if you do like content like this let me know in the comment section below so i can come up with more stuff like this in the coming days i have a bunch of videos coming up during the weekend so please make sure that you do subscribe i'll probably upload more than one video daily for saturday and sunday because i just have so many shoes to review and so much content to share with you guys as this weekend that's this long weekend uh, rolls on by. That's it for now. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you guys have a fantastic long week at the head. Peace. God bless.